Simon, just uh, what's your thoughts on the game and uh, how it all finished up at the end there? Uh, yeah, a little bit disappointing. Um, you know, our, our pick and roll defense was pretty poor tonight, and um, you know, our interior defense struggled. They they were really dominant, really efficient in the paint. Um, you know, I think for the most part, that was probably the difference between the two teams is their ability to finish around the rim, and we probably struggled uh, once we entered the paint. Um, and yeah, I think that's the story of the game: just their efficiency. Um, you know. Opposite styles, you know, they're big and pounded inside. We're a little bit more free flowing, a little bit, uh, a little bit smaller, um, and yeah, they just had the better of us tonight. With the with the coaches review, it's always difficult to make a call when to use it when when you did it. Uh, we. Were you wishing you had one at the end there for, for a couple of the, the late calls? Or? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, uh, we had to burn a couple of timeouts in that third quarter when they kept getting runs on us. And, uh, you know, it's sort of, we got one left and, you know, <laughs> you know, you just, if you don't foul, you got to say you don't foul. Um, the cameras are going to catch you. I don't know if the players realise there's like eight different screens that the referee um, supervisor can look at, not just the uh, the one from the side. So, you know, it's it's disappointing um, that we didn't have that time out up our sleeve. And but yeah, you know, there's the breaks. They they were um, they were better than us tonight. Roy, did you have any more? Um, Yanni, what was it? What was it like out there inside tonight, trying to battle with their bigs and trying to sort of slow down what they do on the pick and roll? Yeah, um, I think you know we just weren't in positions that we needed to be in those ball screen coverages. Um, we were a bit late to those rolls, and um, it's evident now looking at the score sheet that the bigs um, they had their way on those rolls, and, and we just got to be better um, in terms of those coverages, um, playing in between cat and mouse with the guard and the big um, and just being, you know, anticipating things more. Um, but, yeah, I think that was our main, main focal point coming in. We know that both their bigs um, have been dominant throughout the season and um, obviously just pretty frustrating that they had their way um, tonight. So um, we got to watch the film, regroup and, and perform better next time. Michael Randall, go ahead, son. Uh, G'day, Simon. Um, yeah, just um, you, you seem to... The side seems to be so up and down, like from game to game and even through games. It has these really real ebbs and ebbs and flows that I've noticed. Is that something that you see as well? Do you sort of find that they, I don't know whether they go to sleep for a little while or what, what it is, but it seems like you have these big runs and then you kind of die down and then you fall down by a couple of digits and you make that back up. What do you put that down to? Um, yeah, I think, um, firstly, I think the whole season's going to be ups and downs, um, just the way it is. Um, you know, we virtually had no preparation into this game from our game on Sunday, so it was really just a video session and a light shoot around and a walkthrough today. So, um, you know, that's that's going to lend itself to a little bit of inconsistencies, and I thought we saw that in our ball um, uh, on ball defense tonight. And I feel like that was a lot, just a lack of preparation. And um, I think we're, as a coaching staff, we maybe need to do a little bit better job of uh, of just uh, keeping it simpler. Um, from the ups and downs standpoint, uh, yeah, I think it's a little bit overstated. Um, you know, we spent the first month on the road. Uh, you lose one, win one. Um, it's easy to come to the conclusion that uh, oh, you're up and down. But you know, we're in all those games. We could have lost them. We could have won them. Um, so I don't know if it's being up and down. I think they're just tight competition. The up and down part probably comes from the Perth game, and, um, the, the, the Perth series we had here in Melbourne, um, and you know. There were certainly uh, extremes in our performances there. Um, but I think uh, the way the season's set up, the quick turnaround in games, it's going to lend itself to ebbs and flow. Uh, even with the course of games, as you said, uh, you know, teams get on a roll and they're tough. Um, you call a timeout, you try and stem the bleeding. We didn't get to do that in the third quarter. Um, they kept bleeding and then we got rolling a little bit. Um, you know, I'm just looking through our numbers right now and, and, and you look at those and you think, Geez, if I didn't know what the opposition did, we, we won tonight, just looking at the numbers. But, um, you know, clearly, defensively, we, we broke down way too often. There any other questions for the guys? Yeah, just uh, one more from me. Simon, on, on Creaky's three-point shooting, and particularly when there's a bit of pressure or the team's not doing well, what sort of improvement have you seen from him in that area and the way he can knock them? Because he certainly hit a couple of big ones for you tonight. Yeah, he's... um. 
We had a pretty long off-season, Roy, and uh, plenty of gym time. There wasn't much else we were allowed to do during um, the off-season. As you know, in Melbourne, um, you know, we were restricted to just individual skills. We weren't allowed to scrimmage. We weren't allowed to do two-on-two, three-on-threes. So we had a lot of shooting time and, and um, you know, Creaky's put the work in.